who has been to our hospital multiple number of times. And this is the most recent episode he came in here. And so there is this abscess posterior to the, uh, posterior to the liver. And uh, there is a fistulous uh, burrowing abscess going into the abdominal wall uh, with the sinus the Pardon? Where's the gallbladder? Doesn't have a gallbladder. There is a cholecystectomy. It's related. Yeah. Yep, you're right. And uh, so we find these tiny calculi sitting in the posterior to the gallbladder, uh, posterior to the liver. And uh, when we go went back, and this patient, this is not the first time the patient is here. So the patient has been here before after the cholecystectomy back uh, 10 years back and uh, oh, wow. there were gallstones sitting in the back over there, posterior to the liver. And uh, so the patient had abscesses, he has been drained and uh, he went back and he keeps coming back with these recurrent abscesses. So this is a uh, gallstone, dropped gallstones with abscess formation. And uh, so the treatment for this is uh, percutaneous drainage would not be enough. and. Uh, the source of infection is from the stones, so the stones have to be removed. And so that's what uh, they're planning to do for this patient as a definitive treatment. I think it's a little trickier when one of these happens in a patient who's had carcinomatosis T4 and they think it's coming back or something. Yes, that's true. And I have one last case. Do we have time or 